Hi everyone, my name is Marjorie and welcome to today's video where it's the Valentine's Day challenge hosted by Sarah from Jujube DIY and Lisa from Our Gray House. So our first DIY, I've got this sign from the Dollar Tree. It did have a little bit of greenery that I'd already cut off because I didn't like it. Um, so I took it off and I've got some spring florals from last year that I am reusing and I'm just trying to get my greenery and florals in place how I like them. It was a little bit of a struggle, not used to adding florals to a sign this small, um, but I did think it was a really cute sign so that's why I wanted to use it um, and it actually says love lives here so I thought it was really cute. So after uh, the struggle, I decided I would make a little swag, which would be the best option for me. And I just had some greenery and some different pink florals from, um, I think the light pink ones I got from the Dollar Tree. And the darker ones I had actually got from like a thrift store uh, about a year or two back. So. I'm just putting them together and I'm zip tying it with just a small zip tie and then I'm just going to try to find out where exactly I want to place it on this sign so I kind of play with that a little bit and then once I'll find once I find my placement um, I'll end up zip tying that as well to the frame now I did this piece of greenery was really annoying me so I just tried to um, actually just add another piece in there but it I'm struggling here as you can see and so I I just decided to just cut it off like I should have done in the beginning and I just swapped out some of the greenery to make it look a little um, more symmetrical and so I'll get that all um, bundled back up and then I will add I'll add another zip tie to close it out now I am just working with the small zip ties so I actually take two of the small zip ties and I link them together that way I can make my own long zip tie so I can actually um, zip tie it to the frame and I'll show you what it looks like here in just one second Now, when I, I just made sure that when I tightened everything down and cut the stems from the zip ties off that I made sure that they were pretty hidden to where no one would get hurt. I knew I was going to put a bow on it, so I kind of made it to where the bow could hide the, the ends of the zip tie. And so, I will say, um, you'll see me struggle here a bit. This is a, I think it was like a one inch. Uh, wired ribbon from Hobby Lobby and I don't really understand what my struggle is I can make some really beautiful bows with like the two and a half anywhere from like one and a half to two and a half or whatever um, I can make really pretty bows and they're nice and full but I am really struggling with this one I don't know why if I use these small ones like this I normally just try to do like a couple loops and call it a day but this one I kind of wanted a, a real nice full bow on it but it was the small the sign was too small to use anything larger than this one inch so uh, this is why I went ahead and used this um, but it does come out okay in the end just not as pretty as my normal bows that I do but it will do it got the job done and it still looks beautiful so in DIY, DIY number two, I have this little, um, I, I don't know if it's like a candle holder. Anyways, it's from the Dollar Tree. And um, I've got these fairy lights. I got them from a garage sale. It was a really great deal. It was like 20 of them for like two bucks because they were all tangled together and the lady didn't want to untangle them. So then I take these little vase fillers from Hobby Lobby and I just kind of throw them in the vase 
and excuse me I'm going ahead and just kind of hiding the um, battery pack from the lights in there so I've got this um, little floral tree from the Dollar Tree and then I have that little plastic thing that I showed a second ago um, that's really just uh, some trash really <laughs> and um, but I'm using it because I want to make it I'm gonna glue it to the bottom to give a pretty good sturdy um, base to it and so you'll see that in a bit so I got this really cute um, red and white plaid fabric from the Dollar Tree my Dollar Tree doesn't usually carry really cute fabric unless they do and then they're picked over like the first day but I lucked out on getting a couple of these anyways so you saw that I cut the little foam tree down and right here I'm just trying to measure out how I'm going to cut this piece of cloth now you can probably make two or three of these um, gnome hats out of one of these cloths so it's actually a pretty good deal um, but, um <clears throat> excuse me so I just kind of once I cut it off um, I'm going to take some glue the hot glue and just wrap it around the best I can to make this little gnome hat And the reason I didn't keep the the foam in its full capacity is because I am going to fold the fabric over and um, I thought it would just be the the perfect size so um, and then I'm just cutting off the extra fabric trying to make it as close as possible to the base since I will be hot gluing that little plastic piece on there here I'm just trying to tidy everything up and make sure it's all nice and folded over nicely and um, then I'm just going to tack down a little bit of that um, the folded portion of the hat I'm going to tack that down with some glue as well So I, what I was trying to do there was try to see if there was a way that I could actually glue the battery pack to the bottom of the hat, but um, I didn't think that there would be a good way for me to do it. So uh, I just opted to leave it out on this one, which is no big deal because I'm just going to keep this and I mean, I'm just going to use it here at home. And then what I'll do is I'll take a little bit of this fuzzy uh, yarn that I had got from Walmart um, at the end of last year it was on it was on sale and anyways I just kind of wrapped the end of the hat and then I will also wrap the fabric on a, around on a wood bead to make the little ball end of the hat and glue that onto the hat now you could actually do this in any color you want because this would be so cute to use and keep all year round um, you don't just have to have it for Valentine's Day, so like definitely use any color you want. You can change out the vase filler and put anything you want in it to make it cute for every season. So I glue a little wood bead, wood bead to the glass and then I just take some of that fabric, not fabric, the yarn and cut little strips and so I'm just gluing that onto the glass to make his little beard and I really like this yarn and I'm sorry guys I can't tell you which one it is because I threw the little paper away and I didn't think to keep it so I'm sorry but it's really nice and soft and it's really great for his little fuzzy beard So I just put as many of the yarn pieces on for however wide I wanted his beard and then I trimmed it up. So for my third DIY, I've got these scrap pieces of wood. Um, I want to say they're about two by, they're two by fours by 
Uh, I think they were cut down to like six or eight inches. I can't remember. Anyways, you'll see that I'm painting three of the sides white and then I will paint the other long side in that um, it's a sage green. It's really beautiful. I love it. It's my absolute favorite color. And the sage green is actually going to be the spine portion so I'm actually going to make a stack of books out of this and so I paint the spine here and then you'll see in just a minute so I try to make these faux books look a little bit more real so what I do is I take some Waverly antique wax and I paint over the white paint which is not dry so I paint over that to kind of make it look like the rusted uh, rustic pages and stuff and then as you see I'm painting the green on some of the edges and that's to kind of give the visual of the uh, some of the rest of the book uh, book cover so I don't know how well it turned out but I really like the concept and I um, it's not too bad. Um, I do have three of these pieces and so one is going to be an all white book. One is going to be the sage and then I use another book in the color. Uh, I paint that with the mineral color in it for the Waverly chalk paint. So as you see I do paint uh, the edges of the white just to match the the spine of the color. So I'm just taking some um, wood glue and um, it's the Gorilla Wood Glue and then I'm combining that with the Gorilla hot glue and I'm just going to stack my books on top of each other make sure I press down enough to um, have a good nice bond between the faux books So I take some of this um, black and white ribbon, um, it's so cute. I wrapped one end of the book with it and then I'll go back and add a bow. But I've got these Dollar Tree letters and what I do is I actually spell out we love because he first loved us. And you can see the finished um, wording at the end. But um, yes, I really, liked how the outcome of this turned out um, that ribbon is so cute I actually got it from craft outlet and it's a one and a half wire sized wire ribbon a wire ribbon is the best for bow making <laughs> sorry I'm out of screen there but I was just trying to um, get my bow together and I just actually combine it with just a little bit of that paddle wire Now, I did have a small piece that was left over from the spool, and I was like, oh, I thought I wanted to do something with it. So what I do is I take it off, and I'm just going to make an extra tail just to have, you know, a little bit more decor onto this bow.
So here I'm just trying to find the right placement for the extra um, ribbon tail. And let me just tell you one thing. As far as for me, for a bow maker, it is... I really like to have my tails curved like that because it just gives a little extra dimension and it just gives it more of a, a nice full look. So for the last DIY, I've got this um, little Christmas canister thing that I got from the Dollar Tree. and. I'm just taking some of that same sage green and I'm going to paint the bottom half of the um, container with the sage green color. I wanted to really make sure I covered up that um, green band on it because it was real Christmassy and um, this is something that, you know, you can give as a gift or you can use all year round however you want to do it um, but I was actually making this for me and so I was going to keep this but again like I said you can actually make it as a Valentine gift and give it to your daughter your friend or whomever so what I do is I actually have two cups of sugar and I have a cup of um, coconut oil. You can buy this at Walmart or anywhere. Um, you want to make sure that it's kind of soft but it's not melted and that way you can mix it in together a little better. Now I mixed everything all in all at once but you know, if you would like, you can actually just do a little bit, you know, do half of the sugar, half of the coconut, and then after you mixed it, then just add in the extras, um, the remaining half. Um, but like I said, I actually did all of it together in one. Just make sure you have an, your bowl is a little extra um, large because it can get a little messy with getting the sugar everywhere. Um, and so once everything is mixed in just right so then I go in and added probably about 20 to 30 drops of this is um, some vanilla scented essential oil that I got from Hobby Lobby it was, it was pretty affordable um, but you can definitely get any scent you want mix your scents I'm just a real big fan of vanilla um, you could also use like a eucalyptus for relaxation or lavender, whatever scents you like. So once I had everything mixed in, I actually go back and I have this really small uh, ribbon that I got from Walmart after Christmas. And I don't remember what size it is, but I go ahead and use that trim to um, give it a nice fresh look. And so you don't see where the, the paint ends and everything. So, And then once I have that glued on, then I just make a little small bow. And I wrap a little bit of that same ribbon around the, the lid, the knob on the lid. And then add the little bow and fill it up with the um, sugar scrub. Now... You can use the sugar scrub as a hand scrub, or what I do is I actually use it as a body scrub. I've actually used used it um, both as a hand, hand scrub, um, but I don't ever use it as it's like a cleaning agent. So like um, when I would wash my hands, I'd wash my hands with regular, you know, soap and then I would wash my hands with this as well afterwards because it um, would moisturize your skin and not dry my hands out because I wash my hands a lot during the day so um, you should try this it's a really good um, it's a really good gift for somebody or for yourself so you know you could always 
get your own Valentine present because you gotta love yourself and pamper yourself sometimes. So this is one of those really great things that um, I decided I was gonna do for myself for Valentine's Day. So I do want to thank you guys for stopping by and I would like for you guys to check out the description box below and it'll have the playlist link to all of the other videos. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so very much for always being here and supporting my channel. And if you're new, I hope you enjoyed my video and if you did, please um, subscribe if you would like, comment below, and um, like my video so you, I can help, you can help my channel grow. So I thank you all very much and you have a very blessed day.